Hi, my name is Nabil and welcome to this video tutorial on auto-populating revision schedules without revision clouds. So we know that you are able to auto-populate a revision schedule by doing one of two things. You can put a revision cloud on a view, drag the view onto the sheet, which will then force the revision schedule to auto-update. Uh, the other approach is to draw the revision cloud directly on the sheet which again causes the revision schedule to auto update. But we don't want to see any revision clouds on the sheets. So how do we go about doing this? Well, we can select the sheet we want to apply revision to and we can go to revisions on sheets and then choose the revision from the revisions on sheet dialog and then press OK. And of course the revision is added to the schedule. Downside to this workflow is that you have to select every single sheet individually and go through that process, which can be really time consuming if you've got a large sheet set. Uh, so the other workaround that I've seen, uh, bear with me, let me just go back to the beginning, so like so. The other workaround that I've seen, which I think is clunky, um, but I've seen it and it does work, is to hide a revision cloud in an area of the sheet that has a solid fill, like a, a black solid fill region like here. So if I go to the annotate tab, go to the revision cloud, choose line, so I'm only going to draw a segment, make sure chain is off. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for uh, sequence six issued for bid. And I'm just going to go ahead and just draw a little segment like so within the black swatch. And I'm going to finish. So you can see that I've now got the appropriate revision within the revision schedule and you can't see any clouds in the sheet which is great and then if you want to uh, auto populate the other sheets you can do so by selecting the segment copying to clipboard and then pasting to selected views so 101 through to 103 and you can see now that we have the appropriate revision in each of the uh, revision schedules Okay, let me go back a few steps now. So I'll just go back to here. There we go. So what if we want to use an add-in that's been developed? Uh, so if I go to uh, my Internet Explorer, you should see that we have an add-in called the Xrev Freebie Suite. And in here you get the view box and uprev. Now, Uprev is the one that I'm interested in, and as you can see, it allows you to very quickly apply a revision to many sheets in one simple operation without the use of revision clouds. So it says apply a revision to hundreds of sheets in seconds. So I've installed that, uh, and it's under add-ins. So Uprev, and then I'm going to go ahead and choose a 101 through to a 103 like so. And then I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And it tells me now that the revision has been applied successfully, so I'll close this. And you should be able to see in each of the views that the revision schedule has been updated. And it's all due to the add-in, Uprev. You can download it from the Exchange App Store. It's from the Xrev Freebiz Suite. Download it, use it. It's a great time saver.